Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay. Welcome to Inside the Hem where we dive into all things sewing with style and budget in mind. This holiday season, I am bringing you something special. 30 days of festive fashion sewing. Every day we will explore a new garment sewing project idea to inspire your holiday wardrobe, whether you're going for cozy or chic or glam. Join me each day as we add a touch of handmade magic to this season's celebrations. Let's dive into today's project. For day two, I chose a blazer because similar to the party dress on day one, it takes a little bit longer to sew up. A holiday jacket can absolutely be a structured garment with detailed construction like a tailored blazer that you can wear over dresses or with pants, but I see for the holidays a boyfriend blazer being a little bit more versatile and also able to wear to many different events during the holidays and beyond. If your personal style leans a little bit more chic and elegant, like sleek silhouettes, timeless pieces, and refined details, think black, gold, jewel tones for your holiday blazer. Even if it's oversized, like a boyfriend blazer is, it should still be tailored and sleek and perfect for layering over your holiday outfits. If you're more of a modern minimalist and you like clean lines, neutral colors, and understated elegance, You'll take a more subtle and sophisticated approach, mostly in terms of the color that you choose, but your jacket will still have clean and structured lines for an understated look. Simplicity 8697 is a good marriage of both of these styles. The pattern, which is offered in misses and women's sizing, includes four different blazer styles that you can make into a one-of-a-kind look. It also features both notched and shawl lapels, which makes it super versatile as a notched collar is more chic and a shawl collar is more minimal. Let's take a closer look through the pattern. All right, so let's take a closer look at this simplicity pattern. First of all, it comes in misses and women's sizing. So that's a misses 10 to 18 and a women's 20 to 28. We have some details that we've covered like the notched lapel or the shawl collar. It has a single button closure and you can just really get an idea for the drop shoulders and kind of how oversized it is through the bodice, but also like a kind of more full sleeve. Both of these patterns, or both of these um, have a patch pocket. Um, it looks like this one might have like an exposed satin, which is really pretty. Um, and this one, they've just matched the plaids really beautifully. They've just pulled up the sleeves there. This one does have two buttons, even though, Wait, that makes it double breasted, right? Here's a good view of the back with the back vent. And we also have a picture of the sleeves with the functioning button placket. Also a very nice elevated detail. This one definitely only has one buttonhole. Here they are together again. It also has two piece sleeve. So this is a really great little pattern. It has a lot of like high end nice construction details that you would expect to see from Vogue, but it's a simplicity pattern. All right, so they're recommending brocade, crepe, denim, ponty, poplin, silky types, tweed twill, velveteen, lightweight wool. So for view A, you'll need one button for the front, four for the sleeves, B and C, you have two buttons, like I said, and then four for the sleeve. Okay, this is where the oversized boyfriend aspect is really going to come into play. Um, the body measurements are four, uh, sorry, 32 to 50, and then we do get hip measurements of 34 to 52. The finished garment measurements are 42 and a half for the smallest bust size, which gives us 10 inches of ease almost throughout. It drops down to nine and a half for the larger sizes. They did not give us the finished um, sizes for the for the hip, but you can kind of assume a little bit that it's kind of a square boxy look. There might be a little bit of shaping through here, um, but you can maybe assume that this is the size straight down. Oops, sorry. Um, or very close to it. Uh, maybe a couple of inches more for the hip there. And then, uh, when I'm saying fabric requirements, mostly our fabrics are going to be 60 inches. So we've got 
two and three quarters for the largest size on view A, and the same amount for views B and C. Okay, so this one does have that satin lapel and satin um, pocket band separated out. That's all the information we can gather from the back of the envelope. I do want to take another quick look at the line drawings just to make sure we didn't miss anything. So again, we've got patch pockets, notch collar, shawl collar, single breasted, double breasted, and then everything else is the same. Two piece sleeve, um, patch pockets, back vent, and functional buttons on the sleeves. Really cute, right? Taking inspiration from Ready to Wear, I found this boyfriend blazer from Michael Kors. Similar to our pattern, it is cut in a single breasted silhouette, but adds a super fun detail with the feather trimming. This blazer is made from 70% rayon and 30% polyester. The product title also indicates that this is a crepe fabric. I was able to find a near identical blend from New York Designer Fabrics. You can choose from black and red depending on your personal style and the event that you plan on wearing it to. For the feathers, I think they look most like ostrich feathers. These from Amazon are an affordable dupe, also available in black and red. Don't forget your covered button kit to truly replicate the Inspo blazer. It has one button right in the center. You can tell that it's covered, so be sure to include that detail on your version. For a more minimalist look, I found this oversized blazer from Ann Taylor. It features a peaked lapel, long sleeves with functional buttons, a one button front, front flap, welt pockets, and a back vent. All features that our pattern has except for the pockets. However, swapping out patch pockets for welt pockets is not that difficult of a hack. So give that a go if you want a more accurate representation of the ready to wear inspiration. This blazer is made from 100% viscose, which is the name brand of Rayon. The product title also tells us that it's in a satin weave. This one from Mood fits the bill and comes in a ton of colors, 35 of them to be exact. So if bright colors like red is not your jam, choose a more subtle color to fit your more minimal aesthetic. Something in cream or a light gray would be really beautiful for the holidays. You can style this jacket a number of ways. It can easily be worn open over a sleek mini dress or lengthen it by a few inches and wear it alone over tights with booties. It really is a truly versatile design for many different styles and events. So what do you think? Two party blazers for two different holiday styles. Thanks for joining me for today's festive frock project. I hope it sparked some inspiration for your holiday sewing. I have a bonus ready to wear inspiration blazer on Instagram and Facebook. So if you're looking for even more inspo, head there and check it out. Links to these pages, the pattern and all the fabrics and notions are linked in the description box below. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on tomorrow's project where we will be creating a glam and glitzy jumpsuit that's perfect for a fun and sparkly holiday celebration. I can't wait to see you back here tomorrow for more 30 days of festive fashion. Happy sewing. I'll see you all very soon. Bye.